Welcome back to Flows of the Heart, Lyrics of the Soul. NF released his newest album and his newest video called Story, which if you haven't seen it, it is an epic, amazing amalgamation of sound and light, creating music and video, and in one of the most amazing displays of storytelling within rap. In this video, I'm going to tear apart the story. So if you haven't seen the new NF video yet, go watch that now before you watch this. We will tear apart the story, the lyrics, and the video NF has created in a way no one else has to explain the meaning and the hidden message behind this song, which once we are done is very relatable to the last song and video by NF featuring Hot Sin called Lost. I think it might end up being a whole theme of the album. If you are a fan of NF, you will want to hear what I have to say, and you won't want to miss this. If you don't know who NF is, let me show you. And if you are a hater of NF, let me show you why your hate is ambivalent. And it is because you don't listen or care to appreciate the music. Or you are just like the main character in the story, Aaron, living in a self-dug six-foot deep hole, angry at the world. I'm not going to lie and say the reaction portions in this video was my first time watching this video. I have watched it about five times before recording this and every time the song and video brings me to the point of tears streaming down my face by the end. Having felt immersed in the story and on a roller coaster of emotion the whole time from the moment the story starts. Nate Feuerstein, but he is oh so much more than just that. And when he comes out as NF and gives us an amazing masterpiece of a song and video as he always does, but this song and video is different and it's on another level. The song on its own I am sure can elicit the ultimate imaginative experience, but having the song and video released at the same time as the song and album, I am sure the video itself is emblazoned in people's minds when they hear the pure storytelling lyrics of the song again nf story let's go woke up in a bad place should probably get up so i'm not late stared at my phone for the past eight minutes at nothing my head aches what nf has done here with the song and video of story is amazing bottles empty by the lampshade mod of excedrin again great too early to tell but at this rate i'm thinking this might be a bad day he has taken a short three or four minute song made it an epic story that can elicit many emotions, much like a full-length movie. Shock, fear, confusion, goosebumps. Now understand these feelings and emotions would not occur within us if NF was not able to connect you, the viewer, with the only character within the story that matters. And I think it is done on purpose. The fact that we do not learn the character's name until the end of the song Starting the song with these lyrics. Woke up in a bad place. Should probably get up so I'm not late. Stared at my phone for the past eight minutes at nothing my head aches. Is what I think makes this extremely strong connection between the viewer and our main character, Aaron. Because anybody hearing these starting lines of the song can fully put themselves into those starting lyrics of the story. This is where I think the genius of NF comes in. Creating this connection with the viewer actually puts the viewer in the story and not learning Aaron's name until the end allows the viewer to experience the story with themselves as Aaron right from the start of the story, regardless if the other parts of Aaron's life matches up with theirs or not. I walk out the bedroom, my roommates asleep on the couch with their two faced boyfriend who lives here but don't pay a penny for rent, but he still stays. Yes, NF is telling a story 110% from start to finish. She says he's broke, I'm like, no way. Probably sells drugs, but she won't say. Hmm. Told me he dabbles in real estate. I mean, I don't believe it, but okay, okay. okay. Oh. But I see more meaning built within the song itself, with the story set aside. More a focus on the character, Erin, and her traits, which we learn throughout the story. We see a person who is lost in life, which actually brings to mind the song Lost with Hops In, which came out just before the album dropped. But I think both songs, although very different, may portray the same message. So we see Erin, lost, 
doesn't even have the will to get out of bed in the morning, even though she knows she has to. Procrastinating, staring at her phone, expecting another terrible day like each one before. Not appreciating life in the least, just going through the motions. A frigid, frozen, cold human needing to be found in the snow and brought back to life, like in the Lost video, which I think happened at the store. Hey. Pull out the driveway, notice my gas tank's on E again. Well, of course it is, because I probably should stop at the gas station, so I take a right, pull up to the pump. Car on empty, which is a very small detail, but gives us much more information than we realize on our character. As well, saying at the beginning, she will be late. We can assume she has to work, and she's obviously procrastinated to get gas the day before, knowing that, causing her to end up at the gas station in the first place. While it's pumping, I look at my ashtray, then remember I need to get cigarettes. cigarettes. Anything to help my mind stay. When our character arrives at the gas station, there are other vices in her life that stop her from leaving. Like when she notices she needs to buy cigarettes. Eight, so I park and walk inside. Wait, I should probably get something to drink and eat, I guess. So I finally grab a couple bags of chips. Where's the candy aisle? Oh yeah, here it is. And all of a sudden she needs to buy chips and candy and even an energy drink. These are all symbols for vices that we all have that hold us back in life. Which one should I get? Should I grab the Starburst or change it up and maybe grab the Twix? Mmm, grab the Starburst and I started walking. I would definitely be choosing Starburst if those were my two choices, Starburst and Twix. I love that damn Starburst. And as I pass the garbage and I reach the fridge, I hear someone yelling at the front of the store. Probably just a homeless guy getting bored. And the Skittles. It's almost like the Skittles have Starburst inside and just with the shell, you know? Freaking both awesome. Probably just a customer whose car didn't work and now he wants to start a war Man, I can't afford to keep buying energy drinks every day I shut the door then turn around and These vices, much like in this moment, they are holding our character back and keeping her at the store when she needs to leave immediately to avoid chaos and trauma As I'm heading towards the counter with my drink I hear Hey, open up the drawer! Crouching on the floor, peek around the aisle, gun is on the floor I got things to do, trying not to shake, plotting my escape Where's my cell phone at? Left it in my car, icing on the cake The moment she realizes what is happening at the front of the store She understands how important her life is and realizes she does not want to die Scared, confused, and shocked, these emotions come through the screen and enter the viewer's body As jaws drop, gooses bump, and tears start to flow i start calling i can hear him yelling i want every penny i want every dime yeah once you finish with the cash open up the bag throw some cigarettes inside yeah which ones do you want which ones do you want i'm not picky give me any kind give me all of them yeah just toss them in keep it moving now i'm running low on time and aaron is the only character that matters in the story because right from the start aaron becomes the embodiment of the viewer. I'd advise you to move a little quicker. Trust me, I don't want to have to pull the trigger. I've done it before. It's not a pretty picture. What, you don't believe me? I'm just playing with you. Well, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Just do what I say, because if you even think of trying to pull a fast one on me, promise you'll be sorry. Aaron being a metaphor for life, which every viewer possesses. Me, oh, my driver's calling. I can't miss my pickup. That's when I did something stupid in my jacket. Knocked over a can of soup and then it got quiet. Did he hear me moving? Shh, hold my breath. He must have heard me do it, huh? With everything displayed within this story, the message within the character Aaron is transparent. As the viewer gets transported, into the video, feeling every emotion along the way. I'm assuming the noise must have made him turn his head enough to let the guy that was at gunpoint grab his own gun. Now they both got weapons. Maybe I should help him sneak up slow when that come time to go. I, oh my god. Time to go, time to go. It's gonna be a bloody miracle. Now I never got it fired. Any blessings coming in my future? Could you send them to my present? Peek around the edge and I start running. And here, when she gets up and starts running, I'm sure when we first watched it, we were all wondering whether she was running for the door or not. And then when she jumped on the back of the guy, oh my god. Anatomy don't see me coming, does he step in closer? Grab his neck and hold him, squeezing on his throat, I'm trying to choke him, then his elbow hits my nose and... Think he broke it, I... I oh my god. Think he broke it, my blood is leaking all over my toes, I tried not to let go, but my hands begin to slip and bullets start to fly. Can't see out my eyes. Think about this. 
If Erin didn't have these vices, she couldn't afford cigarettes, energy drinks, etc. Cash is still alive! I can tell I'm trying to crawl away, here comes another guy! Would she have a better life? Inside, like, where's the money? Did you get the money? Where's the bag you brought? I don't know, I think it's still behind the counter, probably by the cashier I just shot! Would she have a better apartment? Have a better roommate? Who's this on the floor? Who's this on the floor? I don't know! What did they call the cop? He runs up to me, then he grabs my shoulder as he flips me over, then my jaw drops! Not settle for the only roommate she could afford, who adds to the toxicity of her life? I thought his voice sounded real familiar He's got a mask on but the shirt he's wearing Is the same one he had on this morning Staring in my eyes I know he knows I know embarrassed he I wonder if the roommate's boyfriend was awoken by Aaron when she left Or if the robbery was planned and timed And Aaron just happened to be there Santa brought me and said sorry Aaron But I don't have a choice He holds the barrel up to my head I scream you can't be serious He shakes his head and says I'm sorry Then the gun but with everything I have explained, we can see that everything Erin did, not just in the video, but her whole life leading up to that point, finding the apartment and roommate, Eight minutes of looking at her phone in bed, the not getting gas the night before, knowing she had to work, the prolonged stay at the store to get more stuff she did not need when she had to be at work. Oh. <laughs> Aaron. Any of these procrastinations, new or old, could have changed her life and allowed her to avoid being the lead character in an F's traumatic story. Cashier yells to ask if I'm okay, he's dialing 911. In this whole song and within everything I have explained, I see an ugly metaphor that has beautiful philosophical meaning to life, death, living life, and not living life. I run over to him, grab his phone and try to help him up. It's been a robbery, the cashier was shot, he needs an ambulance. We continue living life, digging six foot deep holes for ourselves, shielding ourselves from the world which has been created so terrible in our minds. He looks kind of pale, I think he might have lost a lot hmm. of blood. Okay, help is on the way, has anybody else been injured? Yeah, the robbers, there were two of them. By the hole we have dug. We are as good as dead. Can you tell me their condition? Are they still alive? Well, I'm not really sure, but they don't look so good. Six feet under, unless we climb out of the said hole and redeem ourselves by showing how much we want to live the life we want. I'm pretty sure they're dead. <laughs> yeah, I think they're yeah, dead. Yeah, I think they're dead. <laughs> Alright, take a deep breath. Everything's gonna be okay. You're gonna be alright. I'm really glad Aaron survived this story. Oh, Aaron's not going to be alright. And I hope NF does a story too. Continuing Aaron's story, giving us more. And maybe her life has changed for the better after what happened in this story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on my thoughts. Let me know if you think anything I said was stupid or anything like that. And uh, yeah, we'll get a little conversation going. And you know I will be back as the flows of our heart and the lyrics of our soul play on forever. Thank you for watching.